Hello and welcome back to the Hibs career mode. You may notice that this isn't live and that this isn't uh, the same microphone as I used in the last episode. That is because I realised that the microphone quality that I was using was actually my headset that I usually use to play games when I'm not recording. And this one is one that I use for like, music and stuff. So today is a post commentary and we get through like six games or something like that, we get to like, about nine games in and the first game is up against Shrewsbury and as you can see I'm having a fairly decent time so far uh, I think the whole the whole series was going quite slow and as a whole just what we were, we're way behind from where we should be, I mean the game came out how long ago, like nearly, nearly what, what, it was like a month ago, or something like that, and we're only like two episodes in, well third now, this will be uploaded on the same day that I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, we're playing against Shrewsbury, and if I remember correctly, this was a fairly easy game, as you can see, 2-0 from 58 minutes in. Not exactly, not exactly this easy, but easy enough. Uh, we get a free kick here, just in the edge of the box. I was going to actually sub off David Swanson before I took this, but then I realised he can actually take free kicks. And we were, honestly, metres, metres what inches away from actually scoring. Uh, the whole, uh, how many games is it? I think it's either five or six that we play in this episode. It's It's been the first time when I was doing these games where I've actually enjoyed playing career mode for a wee while now. I feel like I've played it too much to the point where I've made it stale and I think that's also why I had like two weeks from not uploading it because I just couldn't be bothered playing it but I stopped playing it for a while and then this happened on my first game back and uh, it was very very tense towards the end of this game. I'm so happy that we actually ended up uh, getting a hat trick with uh, Boyle, I believe that was Boyle, and it's the the whole game. Like, I'm so thankful for that to happen. Though I would have drawn the game if it wasn't for that, and we managed to win the game three two against Shrewsbury. Uh, I kind of have a soft spot for Shrewsbury, but I don't know if it's actually Shrewsbury that I have the that I have this soft spot for because I'm a big fan of MGH and. One of the first career mods I've ever seen him do was with Shrewsbury. Uh, I was also looking at Jose Maori from AC Milan because I knew he was a decent centre mid. And looking back, I think maybe a centre mid wasn't exactly the main thing that I needed out of everything there is in the team. More than anything, we needed players. But he, it looks like he's going to be replacing uh, John McGinn in the first team. We then go straight into a game against Buddy. I don't know if I said that right. Is it Buddy? I don't know. Somebody, somebody can let me know, or maybe nobody will let me know. But I'm so lucky to have escaped a one 0 uh, to drop down one 0 at this point in the game. They could have easily crossed the ball there to whoever's at the far post. Gianni Otas comes and forces a save from Murphy. Uh, he actually, forced, I believe, he made a good ten saves, but he's not saving that. I'm going to call him Matt because that's like the first three letters in his name so I'm just going to call him Matt. Chips the goalkeeper with a header. Like, I believe that's the first goal that he scored that I've played with him from and I, I, he's six foot four, scores a header, it's kind of fitting. Fucking amazing goal. Didn't have a, didn't have a clue. Even had two players on there. Uh, to put us on the goal line, but then, right afterwards, this is what he does. Not even close to the target. But uh, overall, I think uh, the whole team had a fairly decent performance. Again, Gianni Otas setting up Boyle, who puts it near post once again. Almost an identical goal to the one that he had against Shrewsbury, which was, you know, a very tidy finish, both of them. Uh, this. I kept this in because I was 100% that would have been a penalty, even though we're 2-0 up, we're not exactly... I mean, we're hungry for goals, but we, like, 
I think it would have been a deserved penalty considering he just got dropped. Uh, we try to uh, score against the Murphy towards the far post there. Uh, 82 minutes in, Matt's on the ball, passes up to Gianni Otas, passes it back to Matt, puts it into Boyle, who finishes the game off. Not that there was really anything more to finish, I doubt Buddy were going to come back into the game at any point. And a very good goal for him there. Uh, there he is throwing the ball up to Swanson, who passes it in to Joe Ledley, who's on the edge of the box, forces another save from Murphy, and I feel like the goals look a wee bit weird here. And he forces another save, and yet another save, and then they clear the ball, and I believe this is the end of the game right here, and we win 3 0. I put on Brandon Barker towards the end of the game to see if we could get another goal, but nothing happened. But we managed to loan in. Uh, is it Jose Maori or Josie Maori or just I don't know. So first sim game of the season is it even the season? First game, first sim game of the episode in the Checker Trade Trophy. We won four three on penalties against Mansfield. I thought we were gonna win by a lot more. I mean, we didn't have a weak team out either. We had like more or less the first team out apart from Stevenson at left back. We then got a monthly scouting update, which. So far hasn't been very good. Rob McCall was like the only the only fairly decent player there. Patrick Anderson's alright, but it's not exactly what we're hoping for, but more than anything we're kinda of just looking for squad depth because we have about twenty five players in the whole team. Here you can see the pardon me, the the league table so far. We are top unbeaten so far. Again, then Blackburn Rovers just below us, like two points behind us. Uh, very early doors, I mean it's four games played so far, Buddy down there at the very bottom that we just played in Southend United who are also down there, who is actually our next game that we play, as you can see here. Still top top of the table, obviously, no, no other games have been played yet. And uh, I think, I mean... It makes it a bit more interesting, I think, doing, doing the simulations, kind of get to see what your team's like without you playing. I had a fairly rotated team here. And as far as I'm, yep, we, we went down 1-0 very, very quickly in this game. And then we kind of jinxed the unbeaten run and got beaten off somebody who was, what, 21st in the league. It's a, a, wee, bit, a wee bit depressing. But, oh well, we have a... We have, we have to keep our heads high because, I mean, that's the only game that we've lost so far, five games, and I think we were the only team to do that. Then we have a first versus second draw against Blackburn Rovers, which, this wasn't a very exciting game, there was very few highlights, but, I mean, Stokes doesn't crumble under pressure, he gets a fucking brilliant goal right there. Absolutely stunning finish from Tony Stokes. I don't know how old he is in this game, is he, what, 28, 29? I think he's our highest rated striker, he's, he's very good, but we're really spoiled for choice with strikers, everybody's good. I tried to pass this back to the goalkeeper and that happened, with uh, Gianni Otas I think that was, and then we somehow managed to give away a bloody corner because trying to pass it back to the goalkeeper. They then whip in the corner and were quite close with it actually, if I conceded that I would have been a wee bit upset. They then come through here, Marciano brings a brilliant save and then he just lobs it out. I genuinely didn't even press anything and he just lobbed it back out to them. So, good save, shit punt and then another very good save here. I think it was down to him that I even won this game. As you can see there was like, what what was that, like three highlights of the whole game because genuinely barely anything happened. Well, it's the 98th minute, it was 1-0. This is basically all that happened the entire game, first versus second. I guess it was a game of two attacks and we came out on top because the defences were just too good, if, if anything. And then we basically end the game here, 1-0 to Hibernian. Then we sim a game against Doncaster with what I believe is still a very strong team. I mean... If it wasn't for the free agents, we would be in a really shite position. 
because we have Joe Ledley in there, that left back called Flo. Uh, we've also got uh, Brandon Barker, which I keep forgetting. We go down at home to Doncaster, then Ambrose of all people saves us, who had a yellow card. Tony Stokes was brought off for Boyle. I've noticed that the subs in this game are quite shit, but I mean, can't really do much again about that. It's, I, I wish the simulate the simulation in this game was a wee bit better. Uh, game against MK Dons, Tony Stokes again has absolutely no issues with that. Just walks past the defence as if they're not even there. And Tony Stokes isn't isn't exactly a fast player. Nobody in the team is really that fast apart from Brandon Barker, I think. Swanson again, very few highlights in this game. Nearly chips the keeper from the edge of the box there. And it's, it's like the 88th minute at this point, and then John McGinn came on as a sub and finish, finishes the game off for us. John McGinn is a very good player. I kind of feel like maybe a formation change would work. But at the same time, I, I, I'm very happy with the performances with this formation, just a standard 4 4 2. Swan brings out a good challenge there, and that ends the game against MK Dons. And this is the final game of the episode, 23rd of September. And we just sim that and it's a 4-0 win against Gillingham. Didn't really notice who scored there, all that matters is we got a really good win. And we're still two points clear at the top of the table. Blackburn Rovers are down there, just below us. And that is basically that's basically the table. If you want to have a more in-depth look, feel free. Uh, I have been Sloping Sloth. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll be trying to put this out more regularly. And have a nice day.